Okay, looks like Tatum is in labor. She's very anxiously licking everything she can because she wants to take care of those babies. All right, I'm in here with little Newt. He's taking a little nap under my chair and we're just, we're gonna wait it out here. Uh, Tatum usually takes a long time to get through this first stage of labor. So I've got all of my warm stuff on because it's like 40 degrees. Is that cold for you guys? That's freezing to us. So gotta stay really warm and get ready for some babies. She's licking the wall. I always look over and say, oh, is that a baby? No, it's just the wall. Are you my buddy? Are you my birthing buddy? My kidding buddy? Okay, while we're waiting for Tatum to progress and get to the second stage of labor, let's go over all the different color combinations that we initially predicted. So what happens when we combine Tatum and Finnick? So we have the option for a buckskin chamise combo, similar to what Tilly could produce. We have the standard buckskin, a possible chamise, and we still have the possibility of having a full black kid as well. But with this combination, we have a 50% chance of moon spots, but a zero chance of blue eyes or being pulled. So we'll see what comes out of this combo. Also, we have 10 dolings and three bucklings. I know I said two before I was wrong. 10 dolings and three bucklings so far this year. So Tatum will be the deciding factor on if we have got a good method. Although it could just be Finnick throwing all dolings. So I don't know. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Big one. Here, that's stressful. I know, but look. You had to, you had to tell if you're getting the, the head and the hoof of the same goat. I know. Got the hoof of one and the head of another. So, what's that first one that's such a pain? Good job. That's a cute little baby. Yeah. Baby, this is all clean on the inside. We just throw it away. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like she has no wants to push the other one out. Here you go. Oh my goodness. That's a buck. That was the problem. That one's all moon spotted. Yeah. That's like grandpa, moon rider. Can't believe he's a lick of red. He's a red. Very red. Yeah. When I was sitting down here, I was like, Tatum, you can have one black and white one that has to be covered in moon spots. And it certainly <laughs> is. They're so licky. Like, he loves to lick. We've got to do the molasses water because everybody loves it. Oh, she's not, she's like not nursing him right now. I got to force her. Okay, guys, we have got a doling and a buckling. So we're really happy with them. They're super cute. They've got really fun colors. The doling has a ton of moon spots and the little buckling, I think he's a red buckskin, but I'm not sure that's what his grandpa is. So we'll have to see when the, when the light, when it's lighter. Oh, he's so cute. He'll kind of, oh, don't, don't scream at me, please. please. <laughs> I'm sorry. I try okay. my best every time. <laughs> they do that with their heads every time they're just I like. Know. She has a ton of moon spots on her. It is nuts. Nuts, girl. This is the cutest thing in the world. And I did not, I promise you, I did not set this up. We've got all the babies in here sleeping. We've got olives who've paired up together and Tilly's who paired up together, Hazel's, and then over here are little Daphne's, and they're all sleeping, tucking in for the night. I love how Newt pairs up with his siblings. <laughs> 
That's so cute. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die. And then over on this side, we have Tatum's cute twins. You did a good job, Tatum. This one is completely covered in moon spots. We'll have to get a better shot in the morning, but she is covered. And then that one over there, he's a little red, little red boy, really cute. And folks, this officially ends the first round of our kidding season. We've had five mamas delivered, we've had 11 dolings and four bucklings, and we'll have a nice break having fun raising these babies until the end of March, where our four junior dolings will all deliver, and we'll have some interesting combinations come out of them. But for now, we're gonna take care of this bunch and I'm so glad that this part is over because it was a lot of work, but um, it turned out pretty well and I'm really proud of what we produced. So I'm excited to start making decisions on who we're going to raise up this year. That is gonna be a tough one. But I'm gonna go to bed so I can wake up early tomorrow and check out these little new newest babies on the farm and see how cute they are in daylight. I know. Good morning. How did you do with your little babies last night? Hello. Good morning. I forgot to lock her in. She just hopped it right out. That's okay, that's enough for new. We can let them out and then I'll milk the rest out later. We have got a lot of full udders here. Instead of milking them all out, we're just gonna let the babies out right now. Okay, we gotta go this way. We gotta go this way. Hazel went back there to feed her babies. And everybody's trying to figure out who's their mom. That's not your mom. He lost his sweater last night. Tilly's hitting all the ones that try to nurse from her. I got a port here. Hold on. Come here. Got some fresh milk for you. Come here. You almost got it. You almost got it. There you go. You got it. You are brilliant. Oh, good job. You are so smart. Can I see your babies? You are so pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. You are beautiful. Look at that moon spotted doe. She is she is basically one big moon spot. Yeah. She is covered. You're gorgeous. <laughs> Never had that come up before. It's gonna be a fun day of playing out here. These baby goats just love this area. It's so fun. All right, so names. I loved all of the singer recommendations. Those were really helpful. I didn't really wanna stick with country singers. I wanted to just do any singers, but I ended up sticking with country singers. So we're gonna go with, for Daphne's kids, the Buckling will be Johnny Cash. The Chamazay Doling will be Winona Judd. I almost said Winona Ryder, but Winona Judd. The little black and white doling will be Shania Twain. I think those are great. And it's nice to have a lot of singers to choose from, so I really like this theme for Daphne's kids. Now, for Tatum's, that's a trickier one because I didn't really name her with a theme, I just liked the name Tatum, but I definitely want her doling, at least her doling, to have a theme so that those kids can continue with the theme. So, one of my absolute favorite movies is Steel Magnolias, and I love all the names 
names from the movies, but I thought, wouldn't it be fun if we actually named this little doling Steel Magnolias? And then I could think of some sort of nickname to call her, like Lola or Magnolia or something like that. Probably Lola, I think that's a cute little name for her, like a nickname. And then for the Buckling, I don't know if I should go with another movie or if I should just do something else. So for the Bucklings, it's not as important that we stick with a theme. The reason why people do themes is so that we can look them up real quick through the registry and just know who was their dam. Because we often leave initials in the registration as the way for us to know who the sire is. But sticking with themes for names helps us kind of remember the doe line that they are from. So for the Buckling, it's not as important that we do a, a theme, but his grandsire, his name was Promise Kept, and they called him Keeper as a nickname. So I don't know if there's a good movie along those lines. I, I'm like stumped a little bit on him. He's super cute, and but I don't necessarily need to stick with a movie theme. I don't know. You guys think of something. It's a, it's a little bit tricky with that one, but for her, she's definitely going to be called Still Magnolias, and then any of her kids will hopefully be called all of the fun characters from the movie, like Malin, Weeza, Shelby. There's so many good names from that movie. So I think that's it. Once we figure out his name, we'll be, we'll be good on all of the names, and we'll do a recap next video. I got some treats for you guys. In case anybody thinks we've been neglecting Willow and Luna, we haven't. Don't worry. You want one? These are your favorites. They just bask in the sun. Luna lives off her lovely meds and they get some treats. Did I wake you up? She's like half awake right now. Oh, Willow, you can do better than that. Come on, that's a good one. You love those. Good job. That's another one. They're tired. It's morning naps. Now the reason why Luna and Willow are in here is because we needed to put Luna on a all grass diet and the other does eat alfalfa, so we needed her to be separate. We're trying to see if this is actually going to help maybe inflammation, maybe help her arthritis. We're giving it a, a few more weeks and we'll see if we actually see any difference in her. And Willow's in here as a companion and also because it's kind of a good idea for her to eat some grass hay too for her leg issue. So. It's a two for one. And they just chill in here and nap and, and then they get to watch all the cute babies too. 